Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Spanko, and we're back at Locals. Let's make another first place, baby, because that's what we do. What is going on, guys? It's your boy Spanko. Oh, baby. I think round one actually just started. Yo, Tyler. 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 Say hi to the vlog. Hi, everybody. Did they just call round one? Yes. I gotta go to round one, guys. I will see you guys after round one when I recap what's going on. I, uh, oh ho! Playing against the one and only Hartford. All right, let's go, baby. Wish me luck. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, guys. So we just finished our round two. I want to give you guys real recaps, but I've been going pretty close to time every single time. So our round three was already announced, and time has actually just started. So you know, I'll give you guys full recaps later. I'll put some duels. I have dual replays on there. We're two and zero right now, which is absolutely insane. I feel like I'm not even playing optimally. So if I was playing better, I feel like those rounds would have been even easier. But we're playing Inspire back to back and uh, that's the best deck of the format right so if i'm able to go 2-0 so far i feel confident and again i'm gonna give you guys a recap later but my round three opponent is actually right here so we're gonna play our round three and then hopefully we'll have time to vlog eventually all right amigos unfortunately we lost our uh, last round let me give you guys a breakdown of the first three rounds oh baby i know i had no time literally every single round has gone into time and it was horrible so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna talk to you guys for a little bit and then i'm gonna put the clips in here as well so you guys can see what was going on so round one we were playing up against fire king that was his first time playing the deck so i was kind of helping him through it we were kind of playing it together and i ended up winning that two and oh game one i just had the standard kashira stuff it was too much and then game two i believe what ended up happening was i had shifter he just drew a bunch of hand traps so i just set up a board and kind of went for game now game two over here of our first round we end up going second but we did have the shifter and that's really hard for the snake eye decks to play into so you guys are going to see we're able to just stop him and then go for game on our follow-up turn over here he also kind of bricked which was kind of helpful so that was kind of lucky i guess but then round two we're also playing against fire king and we're playing against the fire king snake eye you know that stuff that deck is tough to play against i'm gonna be honest with you i was expecting to see it so don't get me wrong i think kashira has a really good matchup into that deck but i kind of want to show you guys what happened here because i think i misplayed a couple times and i definitely you know if i played that optimally i would have won a lot earlier so this is game two here and i really wanted to show you guys game two because primarily this is where i misplayed now i had shifter which was nice but he did have the call by the grave so i'm gonna use my hand trap my ghost mourner here on the flamberge and i totally shouldn't have i don't even know why i did this at this point i just thought he didn't have any more gas but you guys are gonna be able to see that he sets up a full board on top of that i forgot that fire king sanctuary actually protects the fire king island which makes this a lot harder and then over here you guys are gonna see i'm trying to attempt to break the board my hand wasn't great but here i'm actually going to be able to set up a fenrir and a pancratops thinking it's enough but you guys are going to see that i'm going to use pancratops on the field spell to blow up his board but it didn't matter so that's kind of how i lost that second game yeah there was a couple times where i think i had game and i misplayed so that was a good round though i still ended up winning so we were 2-0 at that point now going into round three we played against the one and only matchup that i don't want to play against at all and that is rescue ace rescue ace just randomly has such a good matchup into kashira all their cards are anti kashira cards preventer is a book of moon one of their traps is a pop on special summon one of their traps is an imperm and the fact that they can keep setting it up is kind of crazy right so game two i lost game one game two set up a little bit of a board with summon limit and i'm like okay i'm blessed i have summon limit we're good to go but uh yeah unfortunately we weren't good to go he was able to break through it so that was our first three rounds we are two and one right now we have one more round to go and if we end three and one we still get prizing and the goal is to end three and one of course i, I want to keep this winning streak alive i've been topping every single locals ever since i started playing kashira so that's kind of where we are right now so i know i've been talking to you guys for a minute and i know there were some clips sprinkled in there for you guys just to see but if you guys want the full duels as well make sure to check out spanko duels where i post my locals duels every single week every time i come to locals all my matches or majority of my matches until my camera dies essentially usually it's like three or four matches but all of those are gonna be on spangled duel so you guys can check it out full house today more or less full house it's kind of busy it's a lot busier than i thought it would be and i know i'm talking really fast so i'm gonna take a breath now oh actually we got a pa oh, give me one second i want to do a pack opening for you guys our entry pack today was actually a fan of nightmare so i actually want to open this up for you guys because i don't think anyone pulled anything crazy actually i lied there was a populist pulled so there was an ultra rare pulled and i lost my pack one second all right we got the pack again Let's see if we can hit anything I typically don't open packs, but you know, you never know. We could hit. We could hit. Why is the quality so bad? Is that a QCR? Oh, is that a QCR? Woohoo! Woohoo! Baby! It's definitely not the greatest QCR, but oh, baby! 
My luck with this set has been insane. I actually just pulled a QCR out of one pack in one of my shorts recently. That's crazy. I have no idea what this card is. Enig Master Pack Bit. I need better lighting, bro. What the, what's going on? Ooh, we pulled a QCR in a single pack. Oh, I love, I love this. I love this set. I love this set. Oh, I'm gonna keep opening this set. Let's go, baby. So we're back in the studio and we're not actually at locals anymore. And that's because our opponent in our final round had the, uh, I had the pair down essentially. They were X2 and they kind of just gave us the win. So we didn't really play it out, but we finished three and one today, which is really nice. But the main thing that I wanted to show you guys, forget the locals. It's really nice that I'm back playing competitively and I can actually do and perform well for these vlogs, but at locals as well. But also we got a ton of really cool trades as well as the QCR pull that you guys saw today. So I kind of want to show you guys the cards that we ended up pulling, but also cards that we ended up trading for today because I got a really big haul. So let me show that to you. So Loki, one of my favorite things about having this uh, deck box is not only because it stores in my deck, but it actually stores all the cards that I picked up today. It's kind of nice because when sometimes I don't have a place to put it, I just toss it into the deck box. Now, first things first, I just, you know, a lot of bulk. This was actually just thrown to me. I like, you know, someone was like, yo, I don't want it. Threw it to me, which is kind of nice, but mostly just bulk that people kind of just hand my way. They always just hand bulk my way for some reason, but this is what I wanted to show you guys. So, of course, you guys saw we already pulled the QCR here. I pulled a QCR, which is insane because we've been, we've had hot hands recently. If you guys saw my short, I pulled another QCR the other day off one pack too. So, QCR, really nice. Not the best one, of course. We also traded for another QCR, the Vanquish Soul uh, Zhao Long. Very nice QCR here as well. So, pulling a QCR, trading for a QCR, that's pretty cool. We picked up some fire stuff as well. So, original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye as well as the Promethean Princess. These are just some trades I made today because I thought it would be nice to add to the trade binder as well. And I had some cards that that uh, one of our friends needed. So made a nice trade workout here. And then lastly, big shout out to Andre from uh, Untouched because he hooked me up. I've been looking for this whole core for a while, which kind of sucks because I actually have another low. So I actually have four in a low now. So I got to try to get rid of my other low. But regardless, I have the entire core here, which is really nice. Even threw these in for me, which is cool as well. So it's cool because we finally have the voices core. And this is a deck that I've been wanting to play for a while. And it's nice because I can actually show you guys some deck profiles. I have like three or four different lists here. I have the Dogmatica list. I have a branded list. I have the pure list. So many different lists that you guys are going to see for this deck. And I'm excited because now I have it all in my hands, ready to go. This was quite the expensive core, but we were able to make a deal work. So I am excited about this one. And again, just hitting the QCRs is nice. Maybe we keep pulling packs for Phantom Nightmare because this set is really nice to me. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Another vlog down in the books, written down in the books. What's the, what's the saying? What? Long story short, the another vlog is done. We topped locals again with Kashtira and you guys saw that we picked up the entire voiceless core, which means we have a new deck that we're going to be playing here on the channel. It's also a deck that I'm going to profile for you guys. So you guys can see some different builds because I think I have like two or three different builds that I'm going to be testing out and playing out and I'm going to show them all to you guys here on the channel. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload every single day here on the channel, seven days a week. You get two videos just like this one, the vlogs, the deck profiles, the product openings all that good stuff also on the dual channel you guys are gonna get videos and then we have shorts every single day five days a week on this channel so you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko i don't know peace